welcome back to yet another episode of silhouette paint masterclass and in today's video we are just going to continue exploring the tools inside paint and in this episode we will start with the color correct tool the shortcut for that is alt c so this tool is pretty simple we can color correct the image and use that color correction for painting by default we can't do anything so so if you are painting a stroke here you can see we already have a stroke but there is no change in the screen or in the viewer if we see the properties we have controlling sliders for hue saturation brightness contrast center gamma and individual color channels red green blue separately i'm just going to increase the saturation to 100 and let's draw a stroke now you can see we have manipulated the image that means we have increased the saturation we are using that as the source of our paint brush we can adjust anything like we can use this brightness you can see the gamma has been altered we are painting the strokes with that adjustment so we have like lots of controls over here you can go through all the individual controls like what they does and how we can make use of that in our work so pretty much this is all about color correct tool okay so the next one is dodge tool and the shortcut for that is alt shift d this tool is very simple uh, that means we don't have lots of properties for this one just exposure control and a pull down menu for range and finally there is a button for reset the next one is burn tool which is the opposite of dodge and uh, the shortcut for that is alt shift b alt shift d is dodge and alt shift b is burn tool that means this darkens the image apologies i didn't show how dodge tool looks in the view you can see the image is slightly bright if we increase the exposure control you can see it's slightly brighter right so but if you select the burn tool you can see this can be used to burn or darken the image it's entirely opposite controls for that is pretty much similar to the dodge tool that means we have an exposure control and we have the range pull down menu pretty much this is all about dodge and burn tool let's move into the next one okay so next tool is cutout tool and the shortcut for that is alt shift c um, this is just like the marquee tool inside photoshop so if you want uh, this specific area to copy from here and paste it over here using clone tool you can simply clone that instead of that if we have a cutout tool we can simply draw a rectangular region using the mouse and just leave the mouse there we go we have a paint stroke with the selected region so that means we can select an area and use that as a paint stroke uh, if i want that stroke to be painted over here i can simply click over here and we have the same kind of reference from the screen left to the screen right that means the area where i'm going to work and on top of this you can use the other traditional tools and work on that and if you see the properties we have scale and rotate that means once you have the selection you can simply scale that or even you can rotate it and use that as a paint stroke uh, i believe the shortcut for that is for scale we have let me reset this and show you for scale we have control and uh, the shortcut for rotation is control shift or if you are not comfortable of using the shortcut or if it's glitchy you can simply use the properties right away so yeah that's all about the cutout tool and i'm sure you're going to use this tool a lot in your work okay so next one is drag tool and the shortcut for that is shift d honestly this is the tool which i use every now and then like even though you are using the clone tool finally you have to do some touch ups using drag tool i always say that blur and drag tool are just like my right and left hand what drag tool does is pretty much simple it just matches or smear the pixels that means smearing or you know extending this specific texture over here to this area uh, so let's suppose i'm going to clone this area we have lots of texture right over here so i'm not sure how this is going to be work i'm going to take drag tool and let's blend this area i hope you understood what's the use of drag tool in your work this tool is going to be live server for many of you who are going to be a painter soon using silhouette also if you check the properties we have mix and dk i always notice that when we use drag tool with dk 100 percent our strokes will be much more smoother than 90 percent so again i'm not going to keep this 100 like in most cases but in some extreme cases this can be kept as 100 or rest of the cases you can keep the properties as default 